seven they were doing really good so they wanted to put us out there opening for them because they knew this band is going to be huge and we were and mandy does that and he does nothing they do this guns for hire was actually the next band he was in after trick-or-treat that flopped so he'll never talk about it and then there, he puts up this song that him and jakey lee did it took four years for him to record four songs Four years, because Jakey Lee is lazy. That's Jakey Lee is his worst enemy. This is himself. So that whole thing was stupid. And me and Mandy were cutting demos during that time. But for ten years, Mandy left because he was disgraced. He got dropped from the label because they got kicked off the Iron Maiden tour. Everybody else in the band went on to big, bigger and better things. With the, they played with Dio, they played with Ozzy, everybody. So he gets this little, you know, tree that comes out that links everybody to Black Sabbath. So since, uh, not Jimmy Bain, it was Vinnie Apice was in the World War III that the label put together. They kicked out the original band who got him the gig. They gave him Jimmy Bain, Vinnie Apice, who he did not know from nobody. They started recording, and they brought in this guitar player that the label found. Mandy had nothing to do with it, and he was perfectly fine. All they had to do was give him, like, $135,000 for a signing, and he, you know, blows it all on stripper. He's in... That you never hear. You just hear all this other bull crap and all the stuff he does for whatever, animals. or He has killed more dogs than anybody that I know just by doesn't know what he's doing with him. He doesn't know how to... See, I'm on a Mandy rant. Who cares about Mandy? Anyways, go watch that video. I'm going to get crap for this now. I might have to cut it out. Maybe, maybe not. But uh, there you go. I'll leave you with an E chord. <laughs>